Hi guys, it's Dee here. I am here today to do Orietta's uh, stitching and traveling tag. I know that I wanted to do it a while ago when she made it and things got busy and so I couldn't do it, but now I'm home alone and the kids are in school, so I thought that I would take the time to do it. It's only three questions, so I'm going to get right to it. Um, she wanted to know, do you bring stitching with you when you travel? Yes, I do. I, no matter where I'm going, whether I'm going to the city, uh, or whether I am flying somewhere internationally, or whether we're going on a long road trip to like BC or Manitoba or Saskatchewan, then I always bring my project with me. What I bring with me to go to the city, I don't stitch on the way to go into town to Lac La Biche because it's only a half an hour drive and with three kids you're not going to be able to get much done anyway. So I don't bring my st stitching with me then but when we go into the city like Edmonton which is a, is a two and a half to three hour drive depending on what part of the city we're going into then I bring, well right now, I bring this which is it's a part of the Pandora's box from Elizabeth Almond and it's pulled thread work this is on 25 count over two uh, I'll just give you a little close-up there so it's just a basically a practice piece that I'm doing because I've never done pulled thread work before and so I'm just doing the the borders and then the inside of the squares will be pulled work as well for practice for me to do pulled work. So I'm doing that right now in the car when we go into the city. It's easy to do. I don't need a, uh, a chart or anything. You just do your um, four squared stitch or whatever and you pull it as you go. Um, her second one is what is your favorite project to bring on trips? Um, so my favorite projects that I prefer to bring when I travel is projects that are done on Ada. Um, I have a really hard time working on even weave and linen in a car when it's moving and sometimes it's bumpy because our roads are crap. But um, yeah, so Ada projects or like this is 25 count but it's over 2 so it's okay. But if this was like 32 count, 38 count, 36 count over even over two I wouldn't be able to do it in a car because uh yeah so I save those projects for at home and if I am doing a project that I want to work on that needs to get done and it's on those higher counts then I save it for when we go like camping and stuff and then I'll do it in the camper when the kids are sleeping and I have to stay in the camper um, until they fall asleep That kind, of, that kind of stuff. Or in the morning when I'm awake and they're still sleeping. Um, I'm going to show you a project that I will be taking with me to Italy. I'm going to Italy in April um, in 2017. And this is what I'm going to be bringing with me. This is um, Dreaming of Tuscany. And I will be working on this on the aeroplane and at Orietta's house. Uh, in the evenings when we stitch. My purpose to go going there is to visit Orietta and visit her country and it's not to spend my days and nights stitching. But of course we're gonna, we're stitchers, we're going to stitch in the evening. So this is what I'll be working on when I'm there. And I am going to Tuscany so it's perfect. It is on 18 count so it is very much doable on an airplane and what are your indispensable tools to bring, you bring with you on your trip? The only things that I bring with me when I am on my trip stitching is just scissors and thread and fabric and a chart if I need it. Um, that's it. Cue snap. Sometimes when I'm going on camping trips or longer trips or international trips, I will bring my cue snap. Um, just to 
This is my 11 by 11 because that's a sm the smallest that I have. I don't have anything smaller than an 11 by 11. So that's what I would bring with me. And that's that's it. That's all. I don't bring anything fancy when I travel. Um, scissors, thread, fabric, Q-snap. That's it. Pattern. If I need it. And uh, so that's all that I do. And I enjoy... Um, bringing my projects with me it keeps my mind busy and uh, and this is also good for like if my husband has to run into the store for something and I have to wait in the van with the kids uh, so it's good as long as they're not fighting you know anyway so that's the traveling tag if anybody else travels and stitches and would like to do this please do it uh, you can go to Orietta's uh, video. I will link that below. Uh, it's just those three questions that I ask, but she has the questions posted below in her video. So I hope you guys are all having a fabulous stitching month, and I will see you guys at the end of the month for my whip update. Happy stitching, guys.